What tools do you need to build a skill level two model rocket? That's what I'm going to cover today. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to cover the types of tools that you might need to use when you're building a skill level 2 rocket. Now when we're talking skill level 2, we're talking like how hard a rocket is to build. It's not so much about the tools, it's about the effort that you're going to have to put into it to make it look nice. Now skill level 1 was your basic rocket. It's kind of like pour it out of the box, put it on the launch pad, and launch it. In skill level two, when you pour it out of the box, there's going to be a lot more parts involved. It's going to take more time to put the rocket together. So it's not so much about the tools, it's about the effort. Now saying that, some of the tools that you might use for skill level two rocket might differ from skill level one. When you're starting out with a skill level one, you need a lot of tools, and a lot of the tools you probably haven't used before. But now when you're in skill level two, you're going to start to use those tools more. So look back at the skill level one video that we made on the tools that you need. You're going to need those plus maybe a few more. There's not a lot between skill level one and two that is different because you haven't mastered them yet. And now in skill level two, you're going to start to master those tools. So they were introduced in skill level one and in the skill level two, we're going to use them a lot more. But on top of that, there are a few tools that you might need. One of them is this right here is a razor saw. Now this is a saw and it's got really fine teeth on it. And it's good for cutting thick wood that you might need in some kits. For example, if you have a thick dowel like this, cutting it with a razor saw is going to be a lot easier than trying to cut it with a hobby knife. So that's what a razor saw is used for. You're also going to need some pliers. Now these you might already have around at your house. And this is your needle nose pliers and this is your regular pliers. And these come in really handy when it comes time to pulling rocket motors out of kits where the rocket motor might have gotten stuck. And that happens because you know there's moisture in the air and it can cause the paper to swell and then you get heat from the rocket motor and that makes the water you know, kind of want to turn into gas and it expands more, expanding the casing. And then you get the casing that might expand. Um, so that might be the reason why it gets stuck in your rocket. So have some pliers around. In skill level two, we're using our wood dowels a lot more. In fact, I got a longer dowel than what I had in the skill level one. It's also thicker in diameter. In skill level one, we used them to put rings of glue inside of tubes. In skill level two, you might need it to push things out of a rocket, um, you know, like pushing a parachute out or, you know, pushing a stuck motor out that you couldn't get out with the pliers. Also, you're gonna need some screwdrivers and I have both a Phillips head and a flat head screwdriver. You know, this is for tightening things, uh, particularly, you know, fixing things. You have a launch controller and it, I guarantee you, it has screws that you might need to replace, take things in and out of. So that's that. Also in skill level two, you're gonna do a lot more sanding and cutting. Whenever you're using a hobby knife, you should always be wearing safety goggles. These tips are brittle, they can break. You don't want them bouncing and come and get back into your eye. Also, you're gonna be using super glues in skill level two. In uh, skill level one, we talked about using a medium, and this is a medium. So it's it's kind of like syrup. It's, it's a little bit thick, it's not so runny, but now you might want to switch to a super thin, and this is th thin, like water is thin. And in this case, it can splash. And so if it's going to splash, definitely have these around so that it keeps your eyes safe. And there's also extra thick super glue. This is for if you have really big gaps between parts that you need to fill. And then with super glue is an accelerator. So super glue dries fast but sometimes it's not fast enough. So we can accelerate the cure of the super glue with the Instaset and it's, it's called different things. And it's basically, it's an aerosol pump. You put it on there and it accelerates the chemical reaction and hardens almost instantly, at least the surface. 
underneath where it doesn't hit. It takes a little bit longer for that to cure, but at least the surface will be cured. So that is your different types of super glue that you will probably be using in skill level two. Also masking tape, we talked about this in skill level one. This is a skinnier masking tape and the purpose of this is when you're masking off for painting, this can kind of bend around a corner a little bit easier than a thick wide masking tape. And so that's where this thin fine line masking tape will come in. You can get this at auto parts stores. You can also order it online. We carry it here at Apogee Components. In fact, we have a free gift program. We call it our frequent flyer program. And one of the gifts in that program is a roll of this masking tape. You're also going to need some tweezers in skill level two. And I have three different kinds here. I've got a regular fine tip tweezers. I got a self locking tweezers. It's kind of, it kind of crisscrosses and it can be used as a clamp to hold things where a regular tweezers, you have to actually, you know, keep pressure on to keep them closed. This one right here is a decal tweezers. It's good for, you know, getting under those water slide decals and, you know, putting them in position. I also have, maybe this is kind of like your skill level three type of tool, but I would recommend that you start using them as soon as possible. These are needle files I and mean, they come in different shapes. Now this one is round all over. This one is a triangle. So the triangle is really good for getting into corners. The round one is uh, if you need even pressure, like going around inside of a tube or sanding a fillet on a rocket. And then you have a general purpose flat file like this, you know, for big areas. They come in a lot more sizes than this, but this is where I would start if you're gonna buy a set. Again, we sell these at Apogee Components. You don't have to get them from us, but we do have them here. These have a perma grit on them, so they never get dull. There's actually little diamonds on there that are welded to the metal. So these are permanent grit. Speaking of holding things, and this might be skill level three, this is a forceps. Again, it's good for holding things. You can clamp on it and just hold it. And then you can also, there's, it's got little teeth right here. And if you really clamp down hard, it's going to hold it by itself. Sometimes you can't get them off and you got to remember, you got to kind of twist them a little bit. So you have to kind of twist this way, bend the metal to unlock them so they will open. Again, for holding things or clamping things, you know, if you need two parts to stay together and you don't have the patience to hold them in with your fingers. The forceps works really good. And these have fine tip. They come in different varieties. I also have one that's like this long and I use that one all the time. It's really good for cleaning out the inside of water bottles. So I like to reuse my water bottle. So I need to clean it out. And that's the only thing that I can get in there and get all the way down to the bottom. Having a forceps around is really good. The other thing that is not so much a tool, but rocket engines. I like to save rocket engines after they've been burned. So all of these have been burned. Instead of throwing them away, I have a little box that I collect them. These are really good for pushing centering rings down inside of tubes and getting them nice and square because you push them and you have this nice flat edge. So collect different sizes, don't throw them away. Also, another tool to have in your box is a particle mask. Again, you're gonna be sanding a lot more in skill level two and you don't want to be breathing that wood dust a lot. It's going to, you know, cause allergies or, you know, irritate your nasal passages. So have a particle mask available and use it. So that's kind of the basics of skill level tool, the types of tools that you might introduce as you're building rockets. Again, the skill level is more about getting better quality between your rockets. So in skill level one, you just wanted to get it on the pad and launched. In skill level two, now you want to make it look better and fly better. And these are the types of tools that you're gonna need. So my name was Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.